most advanced cashew cultivation, and cashew nut harvesting. Cashews are loved for their taste and versatility. They give off a texture and flavor to both sweet and savory meals. And they're not just enjoyed by our taste buds, but also by our body, as they are rich in proteins and vitamins. Originally grown in Brazil, but thanks to the advancements in technology, they can be grown in other nations and even the United States. Farmers in the United States have been farming cashews for decades and upgrading their harvesting and processing methods over time through the adoption of cutting-edge production methods and the development of more refined processing procedures. These days, you can get cashews all around the United States. They're not just producing it for themselves, but also exporting it to other countries and being one of the largest populations in the world. It's amazing that they are producing more than they actually consume. So how do they actually do it? Let's get into it. Using cutting-edge production methods and having a firm grasp of the many processing methods available are essential for successful cashew farming. The result will be a high-quality product that farmers can sell for a profit. Growing cashews are tough and time-consuming, but the reward is worth the effort. Still, no matter how much the technology is developed, it's the farmer that does the job, and successful cashew farmers have an in-depth familiarity with the cashew plant, as some of them have been doing it for decades and they know how to keep their plants safe from harmful insects and deadly bacteria. But there is a limit to what a farmer can do. So, American farmers are updating their processing methods to keep up with the rising demand for cashews. Before cashews were processed manually, which was labor-intensive and often yielded a poor end result. However, with the help of new processing methods, farmers can crank out a better quality final product in much less time. One of them is steaming used in the cashew processing industry to eliminate any microorganisms present without changing the nut's taste or texture. Fun fact! Did you know that these nuts can also offer farmers a variety of benefits? Here are just a few of the ways that cashew farming can be beneficial. Number 1. They boost soil quality as its plant fixes nitrogen, so the soil that helps in fertility and their extensive roots helps in aeration. Number 2. They can be cultivated even in dry places because they don't need much water. Number 3. Provides a source of income for people living in rural areas. Take Indian farmers, the first to hit the world market with cashew nuts. But turning raw cashew nuts into the final product is long and laborious. Its journey begins once the fruit has been picked from the cashew tree. When the fruit has been picked, it is sent to a processing plant for the first step in its transformation. To get to cashew nut within the fruit, the next step is to peel back the fruit skin. To do that, high temperature is used, since it softens the skin and allows the fruit to be removed from its shell. After being cracked open, the nuts are brought to a drying chamber where they are kept for several days. When the nut has been dried, the inner skin is peeled off and you are off with a fresh nut. No, don't go there. Come back. Let me tell you about how processing cashews is done. Nowadays, people want to know how their food on the table got there. Not literally though, they want to know how it was grown. They want to know the process of growing and harvesting the food they consume. When shopping for cashews, it's important to know where they were grown, what sort of processing they went through, and whether or not they were roasted. The cashew nut first appeared in its modern form in Brazil. However, the main manufacturers right now are India and Vietnam. Florida, Hawaii, and Texas of US are also major producers of cashews. They are a popular snack in the US, but until recently, they have mostly been imported from other countries. But now, more and more farmers in the US are starting to grow their own cashews. The cashews must be plucked by hand from a ladder since they are so high up on the trees. The nuts are taken straight from the field to the processing factory, where they are roasted and shelled, among other processes, before being packaged for sale. The kernels, or edible parts of the nut, are extracted from the shells and sorted by size and quality. Whether at home or in a factory, Finely chopped kernels are in many baked goods, ice creams, cakes, and chocolates, or spread on bread as a paste and a must-have for many recipes. As I said, it is not just for taste buds. The yellow oil found in kernels has several applications in the pharmaceutical and cosmetic sectors. The liquid drawn from a cashew's nut shell is called cashew nut shell liquid, and it has several practical uses. Paints, resins, flame retardants, and so on all rely on it as a crucial basic element. The leather industry uses the testa that covers the kernel as it is high in tannin. It's not just the cashew, its body is great too. The plant on which it grows, its cultivation is the best alternative for reforestation, wasteland development, and preservation of soil quality. Well, if you're interested in how to start your own or just want to know, here's some tips to start a cashew farming business. 
First, you need a good ground for cashew farming. Cashews grow in almost all types of soils. The ideal conditions for this plant are well-drained, light coastal sand or red sand without a hard pan, water levels between 5 and 10 meters, and pH from 5.6 to 7.0. Soil with a pH of more than 8.0 is not suitable for its cultivation because it is sensitive to excessive salinity. Cashew is sensitive to water logging and tolerant to moisture stress to a greater extent. That is why, for commercial plantations, you might want to steer clear of flood-prone areas. If you have a good ground like this, now you need to learn all the important steps of cashew plantation. Starting with propagation. In cashew, two different types of propagations are possible, seed and vegetative. Along the vegetative propagation lines, softwood grafting has been the most effective and widely adopted approach. Successful grafting of softwoods requires only two months of care from the time the seed is planted until the seedlings are two months old and have a single main stem. After that scion is collected from elite mother plants, procure the scions by clipping three-fourths of the leaf blade seven to ten days before grafting. Decapitate the rootstock 15 centimeters above the ground level retaining two pairs of bottom leaves. Along with this, you can create a cleft of four to five centimeters deep on the cut end. Insert the wedge of the scion into the cleft of the stock. Finally, secure the graft joint with a polythene tape. Now, the old cashew trees can be top worked to yield more. Basically, top working is a technique to rejuvenate old and unproductive cashew trees. Successfully, you can rejuvenate the trees that are 5 to 15 years old. However, trees above 25 years have less sprouting and stunted growth. Pruning the trees from May to September is best for the vigor of the sprouts and the availability of suitable skion for grafting. If you don't already have the plants, you can plant them. Generally, the softwood grafts of high-yielding varieties are the best planting materials. You can also use seedlings for planting, and pit size influences the growth of plants. For nutrients, you should use manure and fertilizers, as cashew's extensive root system draws large volumes of nutrients from the soil. Along with this, it performs well on poor soils where other crops fail. So, if fertilizers are used, they could grow almost anywhere. Now, if your cashews have grown, you will need to harvest them and know about post-harvest management. From the third year onward, cashew trees begin to flower, and by the tenth year, they are producing at their maximum capacity. In most cases, it extends the economic return for another 20 years. As soon as the fruit is set, the nut grows rapidly and matures in just three to four weeks after flowering. Proper post-harvest management is essential in cashew, after which the pedicel enlarges to produce cashew apples. The fruits mature in 60 days and are harvested when fully ripe. Allow the ripe fruits to fall and collect them manually. Then divide the apples and the nuts. Dry them in the sun for two to three days and store them temporarily. All in all, cashew farming has been refined over time. Modern cashew farming methods and processing have allowed for massive production. This has built a steady business and market. Perhaps the world can take some lessons and strive to cash this sector.